Welcome back to Designs by Carrie Ann. I'm Carrie Ann, and today we are going to try a ribbon pour. I've been really excited to try this. Um, I've seen some really cool results, and I'm hoping that I also get some really cool results. So, um, I've got my canvas, it's an 8x10. I've coated it with Artist Fluff Flow Acrylics Gray mixed with Floetrol. All my paints are mixed with Floetrol, no water, no silicone. And my colors today, I've got a yellow, I've got a blue, I've thrown in this uh, metallic peacock pearl, and then this mystery red pink that I mixed up. Maybe you've seen me use it before. I'm not real sure what, <laughs> what it's made up of. I think it's just really just um, like a Liquitex Basics uh, red, one of the reds, and um, some white. Nonetheless, I got my pour cup ready. I decided normally I use a plastic cup for my flip cups and other projects that I use, but I picked up some cheap, uh, a package of cheap paper cups because I want to be able to squeeze this guy and let the paint flow through a small opening in the cup rather than just a you know, full on dump or pour. So yeah, so there's my cup. You see, I've got a lot of blue. I poured the paints along the side when I uh, added them to the cup. So I'm hoping that gives me some good results. And yeah, let's just, let's get at it, see what happens. So far, it's mostly this peacock pearl coming out. Got an awful lot of paint in here, I think, uh, for this small canvas. I'm used to make, working on larger canvases, so I naturally put too much paint in my cup. Hmm. Let's move this around a little bit. Ooh, those are cool. Looks like I'm a little shaky today. Too much caffeine, eh? Yeah, I'm very shaky. Oh, let's move over this way. Hopefully this, uh, you know, the flow trial is supposed to be self-leveling, so hopefully that will fix my shaky, my shaky hand results. Oh, it kind of looks like a blue snake. Hmm. I don't know where the yellow is. See, let's come back over here. Well, there's yellow popping up, I guess. I've really been wanting to try this because it always looks so cool. And again, today I'm using a cheap little canvas, so if I don't like it, eh, no big deal. It's more of a test for me. You know, my shaky hand actually is producing interesting results. <laughs> Instead of actual ribbon, it's kind of a, I don't know, a jaggedy, jaggedy line. I'm going to turn, I'm going to stop for a second to see that uh, in my cup, the colors are mixing pretty good in the bottom there. Let's, keep, let's finish this off though. And now comes my red. tilt this. Actually, let's put a torch to it first. I feel like there's some cells in here that could pop up. Ooh, look at that. The dark blue is showing up from underneath the yellow and the lighter blue. As I'm torching this corner, I can see that the red is showing up a little better, too. Right, I'm going to tilt it a little bit to see if I can move it around. <clears throat> Make it more blendy. I've got a lot of stripes there that don't look like they go with anything else. Ooh, look at this corner. I like that. Kind of dumping off those <laughs> jaggedy lines that I had on the bottom, my bot the bottom for me, I guess, the top for you, from your perspective. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Maybe I'll torch it one more time and then bring it up so you can see it close up. Okay, let's 
see here. Bring it in so you guys can see it a little better. I'm dripping all over the place, but you can see. I really like that bottom right corner. And the bottom left corner, actually. Kind of has a cloudy effect over here. I like that. Yeah, I think I'm a fan of the ribbon pour. I'm not sure this is exactly what I was after, but I do like these results. Huh? You know what? Let me know what you guys think. Is this so far off from other ribbon pours you've seen? Or is it something completely new that maybe I accidentally created, or invented? Ha ha. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, let me know what you guys think. Make some comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to interact with, with everyone. So uh, I'm going to sign off and hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't. And we will see you next time. Take care now.